So in today's video, we're going to talk about a little bit about why this machine caused that hillbilly hauler unit right there to actually be built because we originally hauled this on a car trailer following our travel trailer. That just didn't work because, because fuel is expensive and we did not want to haul this and the trailer with two separate vehicles. So we made this little hillbilly hauler right here to handle this machine. And that is the video that we're gonna go over today on Bosco's off road. Uh, today we're doing the angle iron pieces for the CF Moto for the AKA, whatever that is, hillbilly hauler contraption. Right, so we've got, uh, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see. Here, it's just easier to see it this way. So what we've got is this angle piece here, right, right here. This angle is gonna go up to the top. It's gonna be back about six inches. It's gonna sit right where the, uh, right where the, right behind the tire. That's gonna give the board a lot more rigidity, even though it does have support underneath, it's going to be on both sides. Also here, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to have the, the angle. It's going to be up underneath and come this way, and it's going to go down five feet. So it'll go right above the middle support through here and out to here. Uh, we use this as a test board. This does flex about three quarters of an inch. So... Uh, we're going to take that three quarters of an inch flex out of that board um, and then we're going to do another test on it to see how the bottom boards um, without the bottom boards actually work. So that's going to be for this. This machine only weighs 1,500 pounds, so approximately 400 pounds per wheel is what we're basing it on and this should be able to hold... Uh, a machine right around about 2,500 pounds. So go from there. Okay, so this is the AKA Hillbilly Hauler, whatever. I just uh, didn't really name this thing or whatever to kind of put it together as a contraption. Um, so this is what hauls are side by side. So as you can see, it's all constructed out of wood. It's all constructed from treated wood. Now we do have some metal pieces on here. You're going to see right in this area here, like on the earlier video, this is a piece of angle. Uh, got a piece of angle here. We also have a piece of angle down here at the bottom. So the purpose of this angle iron is because this top cantilevers over, this top breaks. This is actually from here forward would be the cab of the truck. So from here up, that is a cantilever. So to put support and make rigid, both sides have this angle that goes all the way back. Uh, that way when the tire sits up here, where you can see, that adds support. We also have some support down here. You'll see two pieces of angle on both sides. That comes out because you also have a cantilever on the back where the rear tire sits. So as the unit is pulled up, it will go over this cleat and the tire sits here where you can see the imprint. This actually is a wheel strap that clips into here, goes around the wheel, and then this piece clips into here, and that gets tightened down. You'll see we have some D-rings in here. These D-rings are actually for the wheel straps. Now, we were able to reverse the strap and make it shorter. Reason for that, is we were running the strap from here over the tire and then running it down and using the ratchet strap on the end of here. What that was doing was actually pulling the side-by-side -side backwards, which was something we didn't want because if something was to happen, there's more forces coming backwards than there is going forward. So what we did was we actually took the ratchet, we would put the ratchet here, Put this over the tire and we would ratchet this down that way it would pull the side by side down towards the front 
and then we would have the strap pulling in the back, making equal forces either way. So that is done on both sides. Uh, all this basically is, is a beefed up style head rack, um, which is basically designed semi off of a car carrier, uh, where it racks and torques to keep things straight, less flex, less problems. Also, this center piece is just here. Uh, all this sits actually in the bed of the truck, as you've seen on the video. Uh, these boxes serve no purpose whatsoever except for um, basically pushing up under here. You'll see we have these big screws. These are treated screws that will not rust when you use them with plywood or uh, when you use them with treated wood. So what we did was we used these as fasteners that went straight down. Uh, you'll also notice the fasteners here. They're all along. Now on the side, so if you can imagine the side-by-side -side being on this and then slamming on the brakes. Normally on a unit like this, the unit is going to want to pivot forward. So to keep it from pivoting forward, we use this sideboard that is on the side here. And we use these big heavy lug screws along the side, just as added protection to keep it from what the rack forward. Also, you'll see that this box also makes a force or whatever you want to call it. It holds it for a down force and keeps it from wanting to lunge forward. So there was a lot of testing and work done into this to get it to work. Uh, we have done probably close to 2,000 miles, I would say with this probably well 700 one way 700 back so about 14 1500 miles uh we also that was actually traveling to tennessee with this we did a test run um here in our home state uh, we just loaded it in the back of the pickup and then put the side by side on it and we actually went grocery shopping at the sam's um and went to lunch so we hauled it around to get the feel for it other than that, this is it. This is how it's constructed. Uh, what we actually do when the ramps go on, there's holes right here at the end. That is what uh, we put a big bolt down through there just to keep the, uh, the ramp in place to keep it from pulling out. Normally when you put those ramps on a pickup, you hook it to a strap to keep it from sliding out. We just use bolts in both sides. Um, and that's pretty much it. So this is the design, this is how it's made, and back to the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're doing this right here. This hillbilly hauler thing, yeah, you're gonna see how this actually works.